Hello and welcome. Today we have another easy answer video for the 100 civics questions, now also known as the 2008 version of the U.S. citizenship test. We chose answers that we felt were easy to learn. However, please remember that you are free to choose your own answers. In fact, please choose the answers that are easiest for you to remember and for you to pronounce. Okay, so let's get started. Again, these are the 100 official civics questions, the 2008 version from USCIS. You will be asked 10 randomly chosen questions. You must get six of those 10 correct in order to pass. Please know that this is an oral test. No multiple choice here, okay? And remember, you only need to provide one answer unless the question specifically asks for more than one, okay? All right. Okay, my friends, let's get started with the U.S. flag. Okay. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Moving on to the colonial period and independence. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Said that the United States is free. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. You can also just say Jefferson. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and Liberty. Who was the first president? George Washington, or just Washington. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Moving on to the Constitution. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. 
What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? 1787. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. Or just J. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. U.S. diplomat. What is an amendment? It's a change to the Constitution. You can also just say a change. What is an amendment? A change. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Speech. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To provide schooling and education. Now, moving on, there are three branches of government. So, let's talk about the executive branch. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Checks and balances. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Who vetoes bills? The President. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. We elect a President for how many years? Four. Four years. In what month do we vote for President? November. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden, or just Biden. What does the President's Cabinet do? It advises the President. What are two cabinet-level positions? 
Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris, or just Harris. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House. Next branch of government, the legislative branch, which is also called Congress. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. You can also just say the Senate and House. Okay, the Senate and House. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Six years for a senator. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All the people of the state. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Of course, here answers will vary depending on where you live. So to find your senators, go to senate.gov and click on your state to show your senators. Okay. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. 435 in the House. Okay. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two, just two years. Name your U.S. representative. Okay, here again, answers will vary depending on where you live. You'll need to go to house.gov and type in your zip code on the top of the page. Then you can, um, sometimes you'll have more than one there with your zip code. So then you'd have to type in your street address to find your specific representative. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? All right, the final branch of government, the judicial branch. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? That's John Roberts. John Roberts. Who is the governor of your state now? 
Okay, for governors, of course, the answers will vary. You can go to usa.gov slash state dot governor and then go ahead and choose your state to find the name of your governor. I guess you could Google it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some rights and responsibilities. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Name one right only for United States citizens. Again, vote in a federal election. Now, there are two rights of everyone living in the United States. Everyone. Okay. What are the two right? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Obey the laws of the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote, join a political party. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Susan B. Anthony fought for civil rights. Here, some people like to use the answer fought for women's rights. Either one is fine, fought for women's rights or fought for civil rights. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? That's the civil rights movement, civil rights movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. What is the economic system in the United States? It's a capitalist economy, capitalist economy. Okay, moving on to the questions about U.S. wars. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. Civil War. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans, or people from Africa. Africans. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. 
What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Emancipation Proclamation. It freed the slaves. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. 1900s. World War II. World War II. Who was president during World War I? Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. Or just Wilson. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Or just Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. And here you want to say all three. You need to say all three countries, please. Japan, Germany, and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What major event happened on September 11th, 2001, in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Okay. Some questions about U.S. geography. What is the capital of the United States? Hey, that's Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. What is the capital of your state? Of course, answers will vary here. So please find the capital of your state if you don't know. Just ask below. Um, if you live in D.C., you can say that D.C. is not a state and does not have a capital. Okay. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? East coast, we have the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? On the west coast, we have the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean. Name one state that borders Mexico. One state that borders Mexico? California. California. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. New York. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York. New York. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. And there are two answers here. You can either say the Missouri River or the Mississippi River. I have been saying Missouri River, but people say they have a harder time with that word pronoun pronouncing. Um, so you can say Mississippi or Missouri, whichever one, whichever one you feel more comfortable pronouncing. What territory did the United States buy from France? in 1803. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? That was Louisiana. Louisiana. Name one U.S. territory. Name one U.S. territory. 
And we have Puerto Rico. Uh, a lot of people like to say Guam. So whichever answer you prefer. Oh, let's talk about some U.S. holidays. We have name two national U.S. holidays. Two national U.S. holidays. Um, there's a whole list here. I have New Year's Day and President's Day. New Year's Day and President's Day. When do we celebrate Independence Day? That's also on the list. <laughs> When do we celebrate Independence Day? And that is July 4th, right? The 4th of July, July 4th. And there you have it, all 100 civics questions. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please subscribe. We appreciate your support. Uh, please leave questions and comments below and we will do what we can to help you find the answers you need. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.